Hey everyone, welcome back to Game Center Crown. My name is Joy, and this is Breath of the Wild. Again. Surprise, bitch. Bet you thought you saw the last of me. But, um, yeah, the Champion's Ballad DLC was just released, um, not too long ago, and I've already received a request to do it, and in the interest of doing a complete playthrough, we're gonna do that. So, our last autosave was Hyrule Castle. You'll notice there's a little star next to our... Uh, data file now and that means that we've actually defeated Ganon so the game recognizes that um, and the reason I'm starting from the main menu is as soon as we load in um, the Champions Ballad DLC will activate so I wanted to make sure that you guys saw that so let's go ahead and get started who boy I cannot believe we are already <laughs> back on this bullshit but, what are you gonna do? Um, the Champion's Ballad's really... It's really cute, the way it resolves. And uh, we get to see more of our girl Zelda. So, always a good, fun time to be had. Link. 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 I have witnessed your journey. You have overcome every challenge laid before you. Ruta. Rudenia. Meadow, Naboris. All of the divine beasts are now free. With the strength you have attained, I am certain you can unlock the powerful force hidden within. Go to the Shrine of Resurrection and return the Sheikah Slate to its terminal. All right, cool story. So real quick, um, and we get a bunch of cosmetic items. And so um, before we go after the main Champion's Ballad quest, um, I'd like to explore the cosmetic items that we get because we get, you know, some more dress up items. Um, sort of like we did in the first expansion pack, like where we got Majora's Mask and um, Midna's Helmet and Tingle's Clothes and things like that. Um, we have some more of those happening this time. Um, and they're pretty cool. They're, they're interesting, at least, and some more nostalgic than others. There's one that has a really funny sort of, uh, item bonus. It's gonna plop us right in front. Okay, um, so I actually want to go to our adventure log. So we have EX Ancient Horse Rumors. Rumor has that there's a bridle that enhances a horse's skill and a saddle that can summon your horse right to you. Does the supposed ancient horse gear really exist? We can find out at the Highland Stable. Um, I believe the Riverside Stable. Do, do, do. Day of Village Ruins. Okay, so it's Day of Village Ruins. Somewhere in the Day of Village Ruins, there is a... Um, these are the ones that we didn't get to. Xenobraid Chronicles. There is also a tie-in with that. I haven't even done that on my main game, so I won't be covering that. Sorry. Um, but I will be looking at Ancient Horse Rumors, Royal Guard Rumors, Merchant Hood, Garb of Winds, and uh, Usurper King in Dark Armor. And honestly, now that I'm thinking about it, the Royal Guard Rumors... Um, Rumor has it a royal guard uniform can still be found at Hyrule Castle, but we're gonna go to Riverside Stable. It should highlight it here. And go and read about those rumors. And uh, it'll give us hints as to where those items are within the castle. And this one is probably the hardest one in terms of uh, figuring out where something is because it's not exact. Um, and none of them really are, but they give you enough of an idea of landmarks that it's pretty easy to get into. Um, this one, it's just like, oh, it's in these three areas of the castle. Well, you know, the map of the castle isn't great, um, but I found it once before recently, so hopefully I can find it again fairly easily. And now that we have all our damn shrines discovered, running around is a lot easier. Let's go down here to the Riverside Stable. And what I'm going to do um, for these episodes is I'm going to do these in big chunks. Um, just so I can get them done, really. <laughs> Honestly, I'm not going to 
bust these up into 30 minute chunks. I'm just gonna do like, this is this section, this section, and this section. So today it is uh, the cosmetic items. Ooh, hello. Uh, Super Rumor Mill EX of volume four. From the moment I wake to the moment I sleep, my mind is full of rumors. Even my dreams are gossipy. Tracy here. You find folks keep up with dream rumors, don't you? Well, this one's so good it might as well be a dream. Listen up, history buffs. This tidbit is about the brave soldiers who were tragically wiped out during the Great Calamity. The royal guards who protected the royal family. Among Hyrule's soldiers, only the best of the best had the honor of guarding the royal family. Apparently, the equipment they wore can still be found somewhere in Hyrule Castle. They say a former maid spoke of treasure near the dining hall. Near the dining hall. That's very an important distinction that I really wish I would have paid attention to the first time. Um, it's only near it, not in it. Um, in the guards chamber and on the second floor. The second floor is quite fucking vast. Uh, so there's that. Um, I do hope one day Hyrule Castle is restored to its former glory, complete with royal guards. Hmm, I wonder when a royal guard in shining armor will come sweep me off my feet. Tracy's recommendation, five stars. So we've gotten the Royal Guard rumors. Um, let me just go through these real quickly. Um, Day of Village Ruins. And it'll highlight that on our map. It is over here. Um, probably the fastest way we can do this is to go over here. And it's going to be in a uh, dilapidated, flooded house. And there's going to be a notebook there that we can read. And I will cut to when we get to that area. All right, we are coming up on the Day of Village Ruins over here. Thank you for flashing that up on the screen. But we are going towards that uh, glowing little marker on our... Did I... Is that a talus? Yeah, that's a talus. Well, I don't have time for that shit. Frankly. And... Should be... Over here. There's a little book. Was this book always here? Becoming self-aware. Um, this is the one of the journals from Misko the Bandit. That's how they're uh, sort of explaining why these items are in the world. Anyway, I hid the six priceless relics I stole from Hyrule Castle and treasure chests. I shall write down their locations. Misko. The Traveling Merchant's Hood is in the right hand of the dragon that consumes the Spring of Courage at Dracozu Lake. The blue garb of the hero who controlled the wind and traveled the ocean is where the Menowit River was born. The helm of the self-proclaimed King of Shadows is in the swamp of the Valley of Dead Trees, south of Dueling Peaks. The evil spirit's armor is hidden within Farron's Sea of Trees. Find these pieces at the highest of three waterfalls north of Lake Floria, at the bridge between small waterfalls over Floria River, and at the Broken Stone Bird of Ibarra Forest. EX2 is all that's written on the last page. What could it mean? It's like it's an expansion pack. Um, so we can start looking at these now. Let's see, which one do I want to do? Um, the Merchant Hood is probably the closest. And it's going to be right here at the Spring of Courage. And what it is, is uh, you can sort of see these claws. This is the head of the dragon at the Spring of Courage, and then there's a claw over here and a claw over here, and it's right in this one, right there. So I'm gonna warp over and grab that real quick. All right, we are at Shea Katha Shrine, which is at the Spring of Courage. That should pop up on the screen here in a second. Maybe, yep, there it goes, Spring of Courage. And so we are looking for the Merchant's Hood. And it is going to be over here in a claw. Yeah, right there. So we just climb up there and we'll have our reward. Come on now. Come on now. And then there it is. And this is the funny effect bonus uh, that I was talking about. This is Ravio's hood from A Link Between Worlds. This is Ravio. Um, the hood of a traveling merchant who had a bracelet that could turn the wearer into a painting. Wearing it increases your sideways climbing speed. It's a rather rare find. Um, so this is really funny, actually. If I put this on, it's ridiculous. But um, actually, let me take it off real quick so I can show you the difference between it. The effect. Um, so this is your normal side-to-side -side climbing speed. And this is with... Ravio's hood, so it's it's pretty funny. 
it's a little bit faster. But, um, yeah, big, big ass bunny hood. I'm gonna put Majora's Mask back on so nothing attacks us. Um, and now, let's see, um, we're in the Farron region already, so it probably makes sense to do, um, the dark armor. So this one is, um, at the highest of three waterfalls north of Lake Floria. This is a little bit tricky, the way they worded that. I'm at the bridge between the small waterfalls over Floria River and at the Broken Stone Bird of Ibarra Forest. So, um, let's see. So Floria Falls, Lake Floria. Um, I believe, yeah, it's right here at the end of Corda Lake, if I'm not mistaken. And then there is... Floria River. It's gonna be near the bridge, I believe it said. Hold on. I gotta think about this. I think it's actually Sarjon Bridge is where we're headed. Floria River. Pagos Woods. It might actually be this one. I can't remember. Um, come on. Where is it? We're looking for Ibarra Woods, right? I think so. Yes, Ibarra Forest. And I believe that one is kind of like right in there. So I'm going to warp over to Farron Tower and we'll get started on getting the dark, the dark king spirit clothes. I forget what they're called, but um, they're going to be from Ocarina of Time. I can tell you that right away. All right, we're here at Farron Tower and I am going to Rivali's Gale. I just noticed that we still had our attack up bonus from when we were fighting Ganon. That's really funny. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go over here to this waterfall. And the way they worded that was super weird. Like, I was aiming way up there. I'm like, oh yeah, the highest peak, right? Or like up there. But it's really at the base of one of these waterfalls and that was kind of frustrating. Um, but let's see. Ooh, I could be getting in trouble here. Because I want to be on the other side. Get away from me. Everyone just needs to get away from me. So I'm going to Rivali's Gale over to the other side of this river. Or this waterfall, rather. And I'm thinking it should be down here, if I remember correctly. And I hope I do. Yay! I think that's it. Uh, yeah, that looks like a fancy one. Yes, it is. Oh, no! Done fucked it up. That's what I get for trying to be too fast. Get away from me. Oh my god. Okay. And we get Phantom Ganon Skull. So this is this set. Um, if you're like, wait, who's Phantom Ganon? Um, Ocarina of Time, he's our first boss as Adult Link in the Forest Temple. That was the boss, was Phantom Ganon. Uh, some believe this eerie headgear is, inspi is inspirited, excuse me, by a dark entity resembling the great king of evil himself. It's a rather rare find. Um, it has a stealth of effect. Also, the entire set bonus is um, disguise, and it helps with do more attacking with bone weapons, so weapons from style uh, type enemies, so their arms. Um, let's see. So we got that one. Ibarra Forest is probably going to be the next one that we can jump to with relative ease, so let's do that. Yeah. We should be able to grab this one pretty pretty quickly. And this one is behind a broken statue, which I believe is directly in front of us. I think it's just this right here. And it should be in some rubble. Yep, right there. What are you? Phantom Ganon Greaves. Some believe these Greaves were, are inspirited by a dark entity. Da, 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 da. Okay, just real, real quick, I want to show you some goofiness. Oh, you can't really see it with the tunic on. Hold on. So let me... That's what our legs normally look like. Let me take the tunic off so you can really... This is what leg day for Link normally looks like. Okay. And then when we slap on the Ganon... A little bit more swole. It's really more apparent in the upper half that we're about to get. But, um... Yeah, pretty ridiculous in here. Let me... Yeah, that's... Mmm. Spookage. So... Here, let me put some real clothes back on and then we can go get our last, um, our last piece over here on the Sarjon Bridge. So I'm actually going to warp to Farron Tower again and I will meet you guys when I've drifted down to Sarjon Bridge. 
And we are coming up on Sarjan Bridge. It is just there. Whoa! Ooh, nice, okay. And... I just heard a fucking... Giga and a bunch of... <laughs> these guys. Ah! Get away from me. Look. Get your weak shit out of my face. Give me some money, honey! Give me that. Alright, so got rid of him. Dealt with that bullshit. And now... I'm thinking it's... It's somewhere around here. Oh, I think it's, um... I think it's actually under the bridge. Hold on. Yes, indeed it is. Benefits of doing this when I've done it the first time is that everything's really fresh. Phantom Ganon armor. So, here. I'll show you what this looks like. Do you even lift my dude? God. So, disguise, bone attack up. And there's a stealth bonus as well. Not bad. It's just so silly that he's that short, though. Like, I don't know. Like, Ganon is obviously such a tall, imposing creature. But, um... Anyway. We've got some cosmetic items now. Let's see. What else can we be doing here? Um... Royal Guard Rumors. I'm gonna save that one for last, I think. Garb of the Winds. Garb of the Usurper, the Usurper King. Uh, let's do this one. This is probably the next um, geographically. So, um, yep, there's Dueling Peaks. And it's going to be right down here in Tobio's Hollow. I think it's specifically actually right on this island over there. So I'm going to jump to Shivanir Shrine on top of Dueling Peaks and travels down to uh, Tobio's Hollow. And that's where we'll get the next piece. Okay, and here's Tobio's Hollow. We've jumped down from the top of Dueling Peaks. We can come down here. And I actually think it might be on this island, specifically. There's also a Korok buddy around here. Yeah, there's a little pin mill. Or pinwheel, rather, but uh... Oh! Right, yep. Knew it. Here we go. This is Zant's helmet from Twilight Princess. The ruthless usurper king of the Twilight Realm wore a helmet much like this one. It's a rather rare find. It makes us unfreezable. Um, so... Here, I can pop this on for you. Ooh, spooky scary. Um, so... If we wear um, the entire Snow Quill set... Here, let me sort my inventory really quickly. It'll put the sets together. So the effect bonus of this, if we were to upgrade each piece of the Snow Quill set um, twice, like the Great Fairies have told us, it would make us unfreezable. Um, same sort of principle for the Flame Breaker armor, if we had the headpiece as well, it would uh, make us fireproof. So this is actually a really nice find because just slapping this headpiece on makes us unfreezable, which is really cool. Um, with, you know, out having to do an effect bonus with another piece of armor. So I, I thought that was really cool. I think it's weird from a lore standpoint. Um, I can't remember if Zant had a water or ice based attack in Twilight Princess. I don't believe he did. And the reason I say that's weird is because Midna has a guardian resist up on hers and Zant has, you know, the unfreezable thing. So I don't know. I, you know, it's cool from like a gameplay mechanic standpoint that you have these different effects happening. Um, but it's, Weird from a lore standpoint that they have different effects um, happening, if that makes any sense. So, um, yeah. Let's see what else. What's the next one that we can grab here? We have Garb of the Winds, Royal Guard, and Ancient Horse Rumors. Let's see. We'd have to go to Highland Stable for that one. Garb of the Winds. I think this one is pretty close to... Um, it said the mouth of the Menowitz River. And there it is. So here's the mouth of that river. So I'm gonna jump to... It's actually right over here. And let me delete this pin that we're... But yeah, uh, it's right here. Core Lake. And we can jump directly to the Lake Tower and just float down there and grab that real quick. We are here at Lake Tower now. Just gonna jump on down. 
to the mouth of this river and collect our prize. Oh, that's a Korok puzzle right there, that X. Those little bastards, they are not subtle. They are subtle and not subtle at the same time. But we want to come down here where the river is moving quite rapidly. Ooh, and we're going to need to make some ice blocks to get close enough to this thing. There we go. Give me the money, honey. There we go. And this is... The Labsta shirt from Wind Waker. The hero of winds once wore this shirt on the quaint island he called home. They say he wielded the wind to travel the ocean wide. It's a rather rare find. Uh, this gives us heat resistance. And uh, from a lore standpoint, that relates to it being a tropical area. You know, he was on an island and we're in the Farron region, which is tropical. Uh, but anyway, let me pop this guy on real quick and take our mask off. And there's our boy. Aw, precious. That lobster shirt, though. Um, so I think now we just have the horse and the royal guard set left. If I'm not mistaken, and I don't think I am. Yeah, it's just royal guard and the horse ones. I'm going to do the horse rumors first, just because the royal guard one is going to take a little bit of time. Um, but anyway, let's see. We can come down here to the highland stable. I'm going to warp over there real quick. Here we are at the Highland Stable. There's a little notebook in here, more of Rumor Mill. Super Rumor Mill EX, Volume 3. I've loved rumors since before I was born. In fact, I was the first to report on my rumored birthday. <laughs> Tracy's here. This time I've got a juicy bite of gossip I've been dying to share. Ancient horse gear is real and it is fabulous. Apparently, there's some incredible horse gear from Hyrule's distant past. I'm talking the long, long ago, folks. A bridle that increases your horse's skill and a saddle that can instantly summon your horse to your side. The bridle is south of Hyrule Ridge, beneath a cherry blossom tree at a mountain where creatures gather. We've been here before. That's where we got the Lord of the Mountain. And the saddle's at a mysterious spring where a horse spirit resides. This is Melania. At last, that's what the rumors, at least that's what the rumors say. Sounds like the ancients like to horse around. I need that gear. Tracy's recommendation, five stars. Um, so we can go do that really quickly. And this is a pretty easy one because we know, would you walk your ass over here? Thank you, sir. Yeah. I would like to take a horse and I would like to take a Pona, please. Because mm -hmm. she's fast as hell. And we're going to ride over to... Um, the spring of the horse god. I don't need any tips on riding. Thank you. And go see our friend Melania, who we haven't seen in a thousand years. And go grab that chest. I think it's really funny um, that they put this these items at like two, two kind of out of the way spots that are really mysterious and never directly spoken about. Like they're sort of hinted at, but... Um, they're definitely a little, a little bit harder to find if you're just kind of, kind of casually playing this game. So I thought it was very appropriate from a design and lore standpoint that they set it up that way. That you have to go see um, the Spring of the Horse God and also where the Lord of the Mountain likes to hang out to get these rare sort of ancient horse pieces. And I actually haven't slapped these on a horse yet in my um, other save file, so I'll, I will do that for you guys in this one to see what it looks like. But here we go. Let's see. It should be... I think it's over here in the back. If I remember correctly. Yep, it's over here. Ooh, hot-footed frog. I'll take it. Oh, come on. There we go. Give me that good shit. This is the Ancient Saddle, a mysterious saddle made with forgotten ancient technology. Equip a horse with this and use the down button to call them even when they are far away. So before we had to sort of be within reasonable earshot to whistle for our horse, where this will just transport their ass right next to us. Um, I'm not sure what the area of effect is. It sounds like it doesn't matter. It sounds like it's maybe the entire map, which is crazy to think about. And sorry, opponent, I'm going to leave you for a second, sweet girl, and um, go to Satori Mountain. Warp over there. All right, we are here on the top of Satori Mountain. <laughs> I forgot there was a little Korok buddy here. I was like, ugh. Um, you scared me, dude. 
But we can go over here to where the cherry blossom tree is. And there will be a treasure chest hiding underneath it. Like, directly underneath it. And yes, there's an or another Korok puzzle over here, but, um... Yeah, it's right under the cherry tree. And the way they hide these treasure chests is so sneaky. Like, it's right here, but you would never be able to tell unless you activated. Kind of crazy. But, um... Grab this, and this will be the bridle. A mysterious bridle made with forgotten ancient technology. Equipping a horse with this will maximize their abilities, increasing the number of spurs associated with them. And it has sort of a unicorn horn thing happening with it. And I'm actually really curious to see what this looks like on a horse. So I'm actually going to go back to... Where were we? Yeah. The Highland Stable. And when I get over there, I will equip a horse with our new gear. Alright, so I'm at the Highland Stable... And I took our horse out, Freckles. Um, currently wearing the traveler's gear. But... We can come over here. Hi. I want to change my gear, young lady. With my new crazy ancient stuff. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's see. I want to change the bridle. And I want the ancient bridle, please. Ooh, that is bitchin' looking. Yes, please. That is crazy. Um, the saddle. Man, that is cool looking. Yeah, I like that. No, I'm good. I'm done. Okay. That's fucking cool looking. Wow. Okay. Oh, and it, you can see the two spurs that it gives us. Enhances the abilities. Okay, so I'm actually going to run over here, and I'm curious to see what happens when I call it. This is not a great test because it's with an earshot, but... Oh! oh my god! That is so cool! Okay, so yeah, I'm assuming that is... It's just map-wide. It'll just bring your horse to you. That's fucking rad! Well, shit. That is super cool. Okay. Um, damn. That, that's really cool. <laughs> I was not expecting that. Um, yeah, anyway, uh, now we can actually go to Hyrule Castle. And I'm trying to think how I want to do this. Do I want to go in through the bottom? Hold on. Let me think about this. I think the dining hall is over here. I can't fucking remember. Apparently we didn't discover it while I was walking around, my bad guys. But yeah, I think the dining hall is over here. Library King study. Um, I should have put that damn- yeah, this thing, I should have put it like in Zelda's study. But... <laughs> okay. Here, let's warp to the inside. And then we can uh, go get our royal- Guard gear, and it's actually pretty cool looking. The uh, the hat's a little dopey, but that's okay. It matches the rest of the set. Um, but it, it it's cool looking, and I believe the effect bonus is that charge attacks take less stamina. So when you like hold down the button to swing, which eh, I I don't really do charge attacks terribly often, but whatever. It has some sort of bonus. It's not just for looks. Though, if I were going to use it, it would be primarily for fashion reasons. <laughs> so, let's see. Um, back in this bullshit again. So, yeah, let's see. Here, let me get a look at this. And I'm spinning so I can see the map a little bit differently. Yeah, I think... I think the dining hall is on the other side from where we are. We'll see. Um... Hyrule Castle is just one of those things that I haven't been able to memorize. Just because it is such a labyrinth. Um, and it's very much designed to be that way, so... Makes sense. Here's the library. Um, looking for a guard's chamber. I don't think this goes to a guard's chamber. But we'll find out. Yeah, I think this just leads up. And out. Oh, not even out. Okay. But I know where the treasure chests are, I just... 
Like, I know what the areas look like where they are. Um, it's just a little bit harder to find. Let's see here. Um, let me think about this. Why am I having such a hard time remembering where the damn dining hall is? Okay. But yeah, I think we do need to get outside and run around a little bit. Which sucks, bro! Oh, and that's covered in malice. Great! And I only have Rivali's Gale one more. Uh, well, let's burn it and get out. And then, you know, we can be having it recharging. Let's see. Hi, yay, yay. Come on, Link. Get up there, get going. Yeah, let's see. I think I am gonna work my way to the other side and then drop our warp point, potentially. Is there another, hold on. Where is the next entrance? Um, apparently it's over here, but I don't know if this one is gonna be beneficial to us. I feel like this is similar to where we've come from. The entrance had shown me. Uh, maybe not, we'll see. Because it should just be over here. Get away from me. I hate this game when you're drunk. Okay, uh, let's see. Come in through here. Uh, maybe this will do what it's supposed to do. Be of use to us, at least. No, get away. Actually, how many ancient arrows do I have? 32! Good god, okay. <laughs> Whoa, boy. That was not good. Get your stamina back, boy! Okay. Okay, and then there's a little entrance in front of us coming up here. I think this was actually gonna be helpful. Yeah, it's over there, actually, technically. Uh, I hate this. Rivali's Gale is Ooh, Rivali's ready. Gale is already ready. And there should be an eye over here that I can hit to clear this up. But I don't know where it is. Because um, the entrance that I'm trying to get to is over here. Let's see. And I'm actually going to take care of this guy really quickly, because... Ain't nobody got time for that shit, and I don't want to be aimed at over and over again. Give me your parts, please. Yeah, there should be an eye over here. Though, we could probably just climb this. Actually, let me, let me put my climbing gear on. We'll move faster. Where is it? There it is. Because I'm pretty sure this twirls up? No, it doesn't look like it is. Strange! It's saying there's an entrance over here. Maybe it's on the other side. It's probably on the other side. Now that I'm thinking about it. Ooh. Maybe? Yeah, that looks right. Potentially. No, that is incorrect. Anyway, when I get back inside, I'll uh, I'll cut to when I'm finding these pieces. How about that? <laughs> Nobody needs to see me struggling. Okay, so we are uh, using Zelda's room as a point of reference is actually pretty smart um, because I believe this puts us in the place where we're where we're supposed to be because um, we're close to the dining hall now. If I'm not mistaken, and I don't think I am. Okay, so that's a dead end. We can come down this way. There's some nasty eyes and goopiness happening. Let's see. There we go. And there's another nasty fucking eye. Okay, that's another dead end. Let's come over here. We should be getting close to the dining hall, or at least 
past. Okay, so that's a good sign. There's usually a Lizalfos by it. Nice. Yeah, I think it is down here. And the guards area is down there. So we'll be back to that in a second. <laughs> well, I'm gonna come down here to the guards area. Or at least... Oh, that looks like... I think the other side goes down to the guards area, which is good because uh, that's where one of the armor pieces is um let's see come down here yeah yep it's over here guards chamber and then it's up there that's what we want that's the money Ooh. don't hit any of the bomb barrels we get the Royal Guard boots. These boots are part of the uniform for Hyrule's Royal Guard. They're a fine blend of style and function and a rather rare find. So we have that bad boy. I will toss on the entire outfit when we have it. Um, but yeah, I think I'm fairly certain that the, uh, yes. Yes, so um, there's one actually hidden on this floor. Near the dining hall. So, ooh, ancient arrow times three. I didn't know that was there. Ooh, arrows. Uh, Goddamn. All right. So, an, an apple. Yeah, I'll take it. Um, but yeah, it's actually hidden in this hallway near the dining hall. That's very important distinction because I thought it was in the dining hall and was losing my mind the last time I came through here. Um, <laughs> let me see. Try. I want to get through here, but obviously I cannot. I'd have to go around the other way and knock out whatever nastiness is. Because I don't think we can see the eye that's blocking this from here, which is some bullshit. And I'm wiggling around so much because I'm looking at my map trying to see how to get around this. Okay, so I'm actually going to take this out. No, I don't want to climb it. Good God, Link. Out of my way. Okay, and then we're going to go to the left and through the entrance up and over here. There should be, according to this map, there's an entrance right above us. <laughs> and I'm wondering if I just passed it. Oh, nope. Don't touch me with your lasers, bro! Oh, this is gonna be bad! Yeah, that was not good. Okay. Well, <laughs> catch you guys when I get up into this clusterfuck. Okay, I found the dining hall, which apparently we have not been to before. Or at least I haven't been here with you guys before. I feel like that's inaccurate, though. Like, yeah, I feel like we've been in this. But, um, anyway. It's near here, it's not in here. Very important fucking distinction. Yeah, we've been in here because there's no food lying around. Not a lot, anyway. Yeah, so we've picked this place clean, essentially. Yeah, we've been in here. I don't know why the map wasn't showing it. But, um... The armor piece is near the dining hall, not in it. Important things to remember. Um, let's see. Might be down here, I think. It's behind... I think it's over here, actually. Nope, not that. I want that. Yes, here it is. This is the Royal Guard uniform, the dignified uniform for Hyrule's Royal Guard. It's made of lightweight materials, and it's both stylish and practical. It is a rather rare find. And now I know where, um... And then the Royal Guard sword is also here in a pedestal. Can I drop a melee weapon that I don't... Yeah, I don't need a forest dweller sword. Give me that royal guard sword. Thank you! Um, but now I know where the um, the other one is. It, it's pretty... Once you find... Ooh, that's tricky dicky! No thank you! I don't like that! Um, but I'm actually going to... I hope this works. Um, no, I want to... Oh, I can't travel to it while I'm in here. Um, anyway, it's really high up on the castle, so I'm glad we have two Rivali's Gales left. Um, let's see. 
trying to think how I want to do this. I think, yeah, I'm gonna just go on up. And we're heading for one of the spires up near the top of Hyrule Castle. Um, you can actually get above the Sanctum where we fought Ganon. Um, so we're actually headed to an area above that Sanctum. To be perfectly honest with you. Um, trying to think. Yeah, I want to get closer before I do a jump up and use our last Revali's Gale. So let me get up here. All right, now that we're next to the edge of the castle, I feel pretty good about using this last Revali's Gale to get us up. And we're really coming up on this spire here. And specifically, we're trying to get up into one of these balconies, which is gonna be tricky over here. There's the sanctum. You can see through the cracked windows. But we don't want that. We want the area above said sanctum. Specifically up here. And I think we actually might need to go a little bit higher. Yeah, I think we're go a little bit higher. Get over here. And work our way up. Yeah, it's, it's one of these. Okay, so this is above the Sanctum. You can kind of see this nasty mass that we have going on here. Um, and specifically what we're looking for... Yes, it's right next to us. I could not have planned that better. So it's right in front of this knight. And this should be the cap. Royal Guard cap. The spiffy cap is part of the uniform for Hyrule's Royal Guard. It's lighter than it looks and easy to move around in. It's a rather rare find. And here, let me slap this bad boy on. Styling and profiling. Ladies. Yes, queen. Look at this shit. Um, but yeah, I think that's it for the cosmetic items. Let me just double check here. With our Master Sword and our Hylian Shield ready to whoop some ass. Actually, hold on. I wonder if I have. We do. We have a Royal Guard shield, so that's what they would look like. Oh my god, we have the whole set, you guys. Hold on. That's what- this is what these guys would look like. This is the gear that they used. Oh, that's cool. Damn, that is spiffy as fuck. Oh, I love that little fade out. Nice. But yeah, this is what they look like. That's super cool looking. Huh. Damn, stylish. But just real quick, let me check. Yeah, that's all the cosmetic items. And now main quest, uh, the champion's ballad. So, in the next one, we're going to be starting at... Actually, let me just warp on over there real quickly. Leave the area. Um, in the next one, we're going to be heading back to the Shrine of Resurrection. Um, to start the Champion's Ballad, and it's a lot longer than I originally thought it was going to be. Um, well, not a lot longer. It, it This DLC wasn't super long. Um, it's tedious more than anything, but uh, we get five new memories, which is really cool. Um, and all of them feature Zelda. So, really, really glad we get to see our girl. Um, and we get to see the Champions again as well. So, it, it'll be a good time. All right, we are here at the Shrine of Resurrection, and I'm actually going to cut it here, because this starts the next section. We basically just did all the fun stuff, all the cosmetic items. Um, in the next one, we're actually going to get into the uh, lore and the story of the Champion's Ballad. So uh, thank you guys so much for joining me. Hope you're enjoying seeing this DLC, um, and I will see you guys next time. Later, y'all! <laughs>